Do you want to learn how to optimise your YouTube videos, learn the basics of SEO, boost your views and rank higher? Then watch until the end to find out. and welcome back to my channel so recently i've gained over 140 new subscribers in less than a week which is absolutely insane to me and i'm so grateful for and one of the reasons for this rapid growth is youtube seo youtube is the second largest search engine in the world and is owned by the world's largest search engine google as you all know youtube is huge and the platform is growing constantly every day with new creators joining every day and with 500 hours of videos uploaded every minute to the platform it's easy to get lost in a sea of content which is where youtube seo SEO comes in. YouTube SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization, which involves optimizing your content to rank highly in search, in turn getting more views, more impressions, and of course, more potential subscribers to your channel. And if you use SEO well enough and correctly, you can even go viral. So at this point, you're probably wondering, well, what actually is YouTube SEO? And if you already know a bit about it, then I can almost predict exactly what you're going to say. And this is because even after watching hundreds and hundreds of videos on how to do this exact thing, YouTubers only tell you three of the ways that you can optimize your videos. I know how sneaky. But right now I'm going to share with you all of the ways that you can optimize your videos using SEO that other YouTubers don't tell you. Oh honey, let me tell you, I'm here to tell you the real tea. So I'm not going to keep you waiting any longer because I know time is a big thing for us all. Number one, title. For every video that is uploaded to YouTube, it must have a title between 1 and 100 characters. Now your aim is to use up as many of these characters as possible with lots of keywords which I'm sure you would have heard of by now. Keywords and longer tail keyword phrases are what helps the bots in the YouTube algorithm distinguish what your video is about and help them decide whether to push your video out or not. And this is where most creators fail, even if their content is amazing. So make sure you do your keyword research to find keywords that you can actually rank for in search and that aren't actually too competitive. If you're struggling on how to perform keyword research, then I plan to make a video on it soon, so don't worry. A tip is to put your main and best keyword phrase at the beginning of your title as it really helps the video do well. Also, if you're a small YouTuber like me, which I'm sure you are, then this tip will benefit you hugely, so listen up. You want to use synonyms for words in your keyword phrase, so for example it might be how to get more views on YouTube or how to get more views and that is a highly searched and highly competitive phrase that as a small YouTuber you don't have any chance of ranking for compared to these channels with millions and millions of subscribers and views. So you might change the word get to increase so it could be how to increase your views or you might change it to boost or how to boost views. You can even add as a small YouTuber on the end of it to niche it down even further and have a higher chance of ranking for that topic. So to sum it up, make long titles and use lots of keywords, but, and this is a huge but, so listen up, keep in mind that search engines have wisened up to keyword stuffing, the practice of overusing keywords and variations of keywords to try and hack the system. So, always, write for humans, not robots, or else you may get penalised. Also, another tip is to add the date or year to your titles to make your video more relevant and you will see a lot of YouTubers changing the titles of their old videos from last year or even the year before in 2018 to make them more relevant by adding 2020 on the end to give that video a second chance or to continue to thrive in that particular search category. Number two, description. The YouTube algorithm also, like your titles, analyses your description box to gauge what the video is about. So make sure to include keywords in here too, or your secondary keywords, but of course in normal sentences for humans, not robots. Also a little tip for those of you who have watched up until this point and make sure to watch until the end for more sneaky tips as I want to only reward dedicated people who are really dedicated and really want to succeed here on YouTube. So what I recommend is in the first sentence of your description or even better the first few words mention your best keyword phrase. Now this is because the algorithm can spot this and actually put it in bold and I'll show you what I mean on the screen right now but this is amazing because that means YouTube knows exactly what your video is about and if you've used the keywords in your title and your description and the next tip which I'm going to tell you then you've cracked it. Also you have 5,000 characters in the description of every video for a reason so use them. YouTube gives us everything we need to be successful it's just whether we're smart in the way we use it and if we choose to. Moving on to number three, tags. Tags are also very important and play a role in getting the YouTube algorithm to realize what your video is about, just like your title and just like your description. You also have 500 characters of space to fill up, which is a lot. So like your title and description, use it to your advantage. It may sound like a lot of space, which it is, but YouTube gives you 500 characters for a reason. So use as much of it up as possible. 
target good keywords and good keyword phrases that are relevant to your video and are searchable. Also, you can use things like TubeBuddy, which is a very popular one, and also Rapid Tags, which is really, really great. So I recommend using that. I'll leave a link to the website down below. I'll be going more into detail about these two tools and a ton of other tools, which I really want to show you guys in a future video coming soon. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Now, these are the three that you would have all heard about. And if you know anything about YouTube SEO and YouTube in general, and here's some YouTube talk about in their videos. Now I'm going to share the remaining ones that you won't hear anywhere else so watch until the end. Number four audio slash speech so what you actually say in your videos you want to be saying the keywords that you use in your title and description in your video clearly so youtube can pick it up this yet again helps youtube bots and algorithm understand exactly what your video is about and exactly where to promote it and that could be in a variety of features so make sure you do this multiple times throughout the video number five is your thumbnail so have you ever wondered why creators add text to thumbnails maybe it's just for the aesthetic or to catch your eye. Well, it's that exact reason, but also because the YouTube algorithm actually looks at your thumbnails too. Now they don't wanna look at them and see if they're good or bad and kind of what the video is about. They don't really care about that. But what they do care about is if the thumbnail is misleading or in any way clickbait. So what I mean by this is if the thumbnail is misleading and has clickbait like, oh my God, I jumped off a cliff or something like that. Then the video is just a vlog of you walking around the town or something and people are clicking off within a few seconds of it. YouTube are actually gonna take a look at that video and really see why people are clicking her off. So they may stop promoting it, which is something you don't want ever to happen to you. Number six, captions. Captions are something that you may not have thought about straight away and something that I am yet to implement but certainly looking to in the future for good reasons. First of all, YouTube favours videos that can be translated into multiple languages and captions link to what you say in your videos in terms of audio. YouTube's automatic captions are only 70% accurate so having your own captions would be good and also improve your video's discoverability and make them available to a wider audience which of course gets your channel out there and can bring in more views, more subscribers and more watch time. I'm going to be making a lot more YouTube related videos in the future. I hope you found this video helpful and if you want to grow your channel, learn all about editing and YouTube hacks, then make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye, I love you all.